Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Cortez here. I just wanted to share with you guys a quick interview that I did with my student Esteban on his flywheel. This is probably not for any advanced builders out there. This is more so for the middle school kid who is looking for some tips on how to build the flywheel or for someone that is just uh, beginning those steps. Uh, he shares with you his design process and pretty much what happens when he comes across any struggles. We also share a couple of photos at the end. I hope you enjoy. Run it. All right, I'm here with Esteban. Um, Esteban, we had a question about the pneumatics. Can you help explain that? Okay, so here we have our air tank, and this is connected to uh, this, which controls and connects it to the brain. Um, that's where our coating comes in. Uh, we have a double acting piston here. It pushes air into this through here, releases it, and when it, when it pushes it in, this extends. I can't show it right now because it's locked. Um, and when it uh, pushes it, pushes it out, it retracts. Okay. Um, how'd you learn how to set that up? Because we've never done that, and I sure didn't teach you. Uh, so the thing is, we went to the uh, Vex library, and there it had a bunch of sample pictures for how to build this, and it also had a bunch of code samples. So we used some of those, and we took inspiration off of them. Um, so that's the main way we found out. Okay. So that, that's a nice indexer. Uh, tell us a little bit about the actual flywheel. So is this your first iteration? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> Go ahead. The first iteration, we used a green motor, and we just had a really high uh, gear ratio, which was a 15 to 1, I believe. Uh, that had too little torque, so we couldn't really, it couldn't fire anything. That's it could, so it had too little torque. How did you know that? Every time we tried to use it, this would just not spin. Okay. Um, it had an attraction. What was the first thing you tried to fix um, when it wouldn't spin? So, at first we tried to use a red motor, which if you didn't know, that's uh, one used for as much torque as possible. And we just lowered the gear ratio a little bit to make sure that it worked a little bit, it worked better. Uh, but that didn't work either. So then what did work? In the end what worked is that we got a blue motor, which is specially geared for high speeds. And we lowered the gear ratio to, I believe, 7 to 1 now, from the 15 to 1 that was original. Okay, and let me ask you, because a lot of people out there are wondering, because there's no direct instructions, did I give you any direct instructions for this build? No, I just, I took this home uh, one weekend and spent the whole time trying to figure out how it worked, and eventually I did get it right, uh, but it took a lot of trial and error. At first I used the base platform that they had built for me, um, but then later when I came back to school we realized that, that that wouldn't work, so we had to build a new one. And who built the, bla the base platform? Uh, I built this, this part. Oh, you're talking about this base. Okay, I thought you were talking about the first iteration, which was uh, Fausto and, well anyways, the boys had tried building one also. Now, you, you've you built this and, and you didn't use any instructions. What advice do you have to any kids out there that are trying to build one? Because a lot of kids often seem to feel discouraged because they think that, you know, there's no direction, they don't know which way to go. How, where would you start and what advice would you have for them? My first advice would be go on to YouTube. There's a lot of helpful tutorials on how to build flywheels and how to build things with high gear ratios that can work really well. Um, second thing is trust your gut. A lot of times you overthink things and it takes a long time for you to figure it out. But at the same time, you should be really paying attention because if you're not, you're going to make dumb mistakes that are going to cost you in the long run. All right. Thank you for your time, Esteban. I appreciate that.